Okay, this video will be a quite a basic video on Gmail and using it as a power and user. I've had quite a few people um, come talk to me and ask me uh, how my workflow is within Gmail and how I stand on top of emails. Um, and I thought this video would be a good idea to help everyone, train everyone up, and give a few tips and tricks that I use. Okay, so firstly, um, with the whole workflow of emails, uh, and usually my inbox at the start of the day will appear something similar to this. A whole lot of emails haven't really read. Um, so the way I process them is I'll just process them and talk you through, it, uh, through what I'm currently doing um, as I'm processing them. Okay, so this email. Um, this is an email that um, I'm not too interested about. It doesn't need action straight away, so I'll just archive it. And that means that I haven't deleted it, I've still got it on record, but um, it's there if I need it, but it's out of the way, it's not in my inbox, so it doesn't need to worry me. Next, I got this one. That's done. Once again, I don't need to action this email. I can just archive that away. So this is something that needs an action. So I need to download this and view this document and process it. So this may take longer than, say, a few seconds um, that I need to process the entire email. So what I'm going to do is I grab this label here, action required, and I pull it over. Once I've pulled it over, I archive it so it's not in my inbox anymore. And if you see up here, now it's up here in the action required inbox. Um, this is a Gmail, f a Gmail Labs feature, which I'll probably create another video later on um, explaining what Gmail uh, Labs features I use. Um, but yeah, that's for another video. So another video. Um, I'll action this because that requires further action. This next one. This needs my reply, which once again. Oh, action. So the point, whole point of this is just processing and running through all your emails so you know which ones are actions, which one can be archived, which ones to read later, um, and if uh, certain ones can be pushed uh, further back into the week to be processed. Um, See, so this one, when I look at this email, it seems like an interesting email. Email seems a bit long, it requires further research, so I think I'll read and review this later. So what happens with this label is whenever I have some free time or I'm bored and want to read some interesting things, I'll just throw the read and review label on it, um, and then I'll be able to have all my read and review stuff emails in one place to be processed when I have the time. So what you'll notice is a lot of these emails have already have not been read, and these emails have been read, um, just because the way my um, the way I read emails, I read it on my phone, read it on my iPad. So in all, all these different scenarios, I, I read emails, um, but I don't necessarily get to process them at that time, uh, which one of the problems I previously had when I wasn't archiving emails and leaving them all in my inbox was that I'd lose track of which emails had been processed, which emails needed actions. Um, and which emails I was waiting on. So with this system, it ensures that every single email will get processed and um, will, be, will be categorized correctly. Is I'm waiting on. So what happens here is this email, I don't need to action it, but it does involve me and it is quite important to me. And if it doesn't get actioned by someone else, then it's my problem. So what I do, now is say today is Wednesday, um, so I want to have an answer by say uh, Friday. So Friday I want to check this to, to see how it's going. So what I'll do is I'll grab the Friday label, throw it on and archive it. And then later on when it comes to Friday, um, then, I'll, then it will appear in my inbox. Uh, so this one has hasn't been actioned yet um, because I threw that I, I put that label action required while I was on my iPad um, however it's still my inbox so to get it out of my inbox I just archive it this one 
once again I've read through this before that's pretty cool um, I don't really need to see it anymore so I'll just archive it if I did need to pull up those uh, Facebook stats I could just always search my inbox um, for Facebook So basically what happens is now I've zero based my inbox. So this is my inbox down here. There's nothing in. So what now I can do is that's when I start working on my action required list. Um, and you see I've got about 32 emails um, here to action, which is fine. Um, but now at least everything's been processed and everything, um, and nothing's, no emails have been missed or f uh, fallen through the loop. Okay, so that's it for this section. Uh, in the next section, I'll be talking about the tickler file, which basically means these uh, labels here, the daily labels. Um, yeah, so let me know your feedback and comment on this video to tell me what you thought of it. All right, thank you. Okay, so after processing all my emails, um, as you can see, the inbox is empty. Um, and also the action required inbox is empty. So it took me probably about a few hours to get through all that. Um, the important bit with that is that I also have put some emails into the tickler file, which means everything's been processed or I know exactly when to check up on it. For example, uh, today is now Thursday. Um, have some things I need to check on for today, Friday, there's a few more emails to process, uh, but I guess the key point here is that my inbox is now zero based and I trust my system that um, everything's going to get done in time, which is a really good feeling, so I definitely recommend everyone to try this out. Uh, that's it for this video.